Then wetsuits. Um, in the races I do, um, we have a specific box we need to get everything into. So we need to get our helmets in there, we need to get anything, any used equipment into the box when we're done with it. So swim cap, goggles, wetsuit, helmet, sunglasses if you didn't wear them for the run. And so just make sure that you have your box on which side you want it on of your bike and how you're going to put stuff in there. And those sides, if you haven't picked it up, those sides are really generated by being on the safe side of the bike, which is the non pain ring side. Now to get a wetsuit off um, more easily, there's a few things you can do. A lot of times you can use, you can buy like some sort of special oil or something to help get them off. Uh, you can also just go to the store and buy canola oil, just a, either a spray bottle or a regular oil, and that's what I normally use to um, easily get the wetsuit off. You can also use like a, if it's a cold race, you can use a, like an A and D ointment or Vaseline or something. No, that can sometimes be really difficult to get off your wetsuit, but it'll keep you warm if you have it on, you know, protects, it gives you like a layer of protection against wind. The spray oils are really good, so those canola oils, they're like a cooking oil or an olive oil. Uh, they spray on, so it's good you don't have to get your hands all mucky before a race and you're not swimming with oil on your hands or touching your bike or your helmet with oil on your hands and they're a spray oil. So we use that for two reasons, A, to provide a little bit of friction protection between the wetsuit and the skin, but also when you're taking the wetsuit off you've got two layers of wetsuit opposing each other and if you can lubricate those two layers of wetsuit that oppose each other, it's going to slip off quicker. So two things that are really important for wetsuit removal is A, the cut of your wetsuit and Gwen will show you how she, where she cuts her wetsuit at but also having some lubrication for those two surfaces that are opposing each other to slip off fast across your legs and, uh, and through your arms. Yep. So my wetsuit, Jamie was talking about cutting it, I've cut it off. Um, I like to cut it off so it comes to about here on me just because if you leave it to come down here it's really narrow down there and tight and so that's hard to get over and off your whole suit. Should put it on? I can't take, I'm mic'd. Glenn, did you talk about how many times you might do this transition first? Yeah, I mean, I'll practice T1, T2, maybe two times a week at least, just in a parking lot. And it's a lot easier to get your wetsuit on, I think, if you have socks on or you have use a plastic bag or something like that. But So I cut mine so that it's here or a little bit higher so that when I come out and I come into transition, taking the wetsuit down, I come up and I can do the rest of it with just my feet. Oh boy, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Usually I can do that. I think it's harder with a dry suit. That's what I'm going to blame it on. And if you're really fast, what you can do is you can take your sweatsuit off with just your feet while you're putting your helmet on to save some time.